So the statistics for 2018 basically show that the market was 1% uh, up compared to the previous year of 2000, 2017. So another record year, but uh, only just, I would say. So if you look from a regional perspective, what you see is that the Asian market was flat to just a little bit down. However, there we have to say that everything is relative because Asia is still double the size of the other two large regions, the Americas and uh, Europe put together. Americas did really well. It was a 6% growth, so a healthy, uh, a healthy trend upwards. And in Europe was 7% uh, up, so also very much on a positive trend. And there are always interesting statistics coming out of China. So China is the largest market in the world. It came a little bit off its high in 2017 of 138,000 units to just over 133. But again, everything is relative. If you look at the next uh, three countries on the list, basically Korea, the US and Japan, China was still larger in total than those three other countries put together. Well, what didn't change in 2018 is that automotive is still, by a hair's breadth, the largest customer uh, for robotic suppliers. What perhaps changed is that it actually went down. So uh, the automotive market was 6% down, uh, perhaps driven by a number of factors, a little bit of uncertainty over the transition from the so-called internal combustion engine to electric vehicles. People and consumers in particular, maybe not quite sure where to put their money. And also if you look at some of the larger markets in the world, so China, for example, the largest market, for the first time in 29 years, year-on-year -year sales were actually down by about 3%. And a combination of those factors are actually causing the, the regression in the market in 2018. Yeah, a little bit of a mixed bag. So uh, electronic, electrical was actually the, the second largest market, very close to automotive. Those two in 2018 made up 60% of the market, down from two thirds in 2017. So electronics in a little bit of a similar way to uh, vehicle sales in the automotive analogy was basically down. So smartphones for the first time since we learned as a, as a consumer audience to, to know what a smartphone is, was basically down by about 5% in uh, 2018. And consequently the market in electronics and electrical was down by about 8%. I think some of the smaller industries and some of the smaller segments were growing very well. So metals across the board was extremely strong performer. Uh, food and beverage, another area that was up very strongly. And uh, we can also look at some, uh, some other areas like plastics, rubber and chemicals that also helped to contribute to the overall uh, positive picture. Yeah, I think you know technology continues to be uh, continues to be a moving uh, a moving goalpost, as it were. I think there are a lot of very interesting things. So you see, for example, people talk a lot about AI. I, I actually prefer to talk a little bit more about machine learning, uh, and I think machine learning is one thing which is very much developing. So if we talk a little bit about some of the categories that are gradually trying to adopt robots, that have maybe found robots too a little bit too complicated to use. I think uh, machine learning is one of the areas that can really help us here. A machine actually starts to work, it generates data, the data goes to the cloud, uh, the cloud analyzes the data, sends it back, and the machine learns to work smarter. So the machine actually starts to, uh, starts to help to optimize itself and allows the person to focus on more value-added tasks.